Thing number two this morning, we have to talk about the latest with Russia and Ukraine. A couple of things to break down for you on this front. And you can see how over the course of the overnight session, we saw various headlines continue to hit the market and create fluctuations. That is something we've been seeing. So in other words, it is still a pretty headline driven market when it comes to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So thing number one here this morning, a spokesman for the Kremlin says in response to some reports that there had been progress in ceasefire talks, that that report is incorrect, that there is no resolution on ceasefire talks as of yet. You can see crude oil, uh, both Brent and WTI rebounding here this morning. Another thing to mention here as we are watching that situation is that a White House spokeswoman, Jen Psaki, announcing that President Biden is set to have a call with uh, President Xi of China on Friday to discuss the Russia-Ukraine situation. So that will be something that we'll, we will be monitoring closely. All of this as Russia made a bond payment. Now, why is this important? It's broadly expected that Russia is going to go into default, but it's not happening yet. It made a payment. Um, uh, $117 million worth on an interest due on $2 denominated bonds. So it avo avoids that default for now, but it might just be delaying the inevitable. Saz? Yeah, all eyes here, uh, Julie, of course, remains on the uh, energy markets here. Now, oil is popping a little bit off of those lows we've seen earlier in the week. But President Biden out with a new tweet looking or calling out uh, energy companies yet again, uh, saying all prices are decreasing Gas prices should, too. Last time, oil was $96 a barrel. Gas was $3.62 a gallon. Now it's $4.31. Oil and gas companies shouldn't pad their profits at the expense of hardworking Americans. Uh, again, uh, the reality remains, Julie, gas prices are going to remain at elevated levels, even considering that slight pullback off the highs we have seen uh, in oil markets. It's just the reality of the situation. Yeah, I mean, you know, there, there. I've seen a considerable amount of pushback against that kind of narrative that gasoline prices are higher now than they were the last time oil was at these levels. Um, mm -hmm. We can break that down in detail another time. I think that the suggestion that uh, individual gas station operators in this country are, are, you know, sort of gouging consumers, I think it's not that clear of a picture. So, but we'll talk about that in more detail another time.